I'm trying a new look. I think if my chin gets bigger, I'll be more respected in late night television circles. Fix my tie a little bit. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, I think it would be better. We would be a better late night show if you actually were a band leader. That would be better. You should have a band of other robot skeletons that play instruments. And by, and by instruments, I think you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. No, shouldn't you have a band, though? Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, it'd be like uh, Jeff Peterson and the Bony Brigade. <laughs> no, I don't like that, Bony Brigade. I, so I don't like things that rhyme with other, but start with the same alliteration. <laughs> Well, I was going to say Bone Patrol, but that probably... Bone sounds... Patrol? Actually, Bone Patrol's a movie I saw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's about skeletons that solve crimes. <laughs> Tonight on Bone Patrol. Yeah. GP's on the case. GP, that's you, right? Yeah, and you're, and you're, and you're Fergs. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, I think we better stick to late night. Or maybe we could be, uh, maybe we could be a, a sitcom. Like, you could be neat and I'd be, like, slobby and we have to share an apartment because we're divorced. Oh, yeah, the bone couple. The bone couple, yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, what, Jeff Peterson? And you'd be like, hey, come on, man, clean up those cookies. <laughs> and by cookies, you mean... Balls. And we'll be right back. Sponsored by Advil. Make the switch to Advil now. to start looking a little bit fake if you don't stop right now. <laughs> fake on TV, Craig? Everything on TV is real. That's right, everything on TV is real. <laughs> I'm real, Kim Kardashian's ass is real. <laughs> it actually is. It actually is real. It's the rest of her is fake, but her ass <laughs> is real. <laughs> My ass is real too. Real close to you right now. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It is July the 7th, so it is 7-7 seven, seven today. For some reason, seven's considered a lucky number. Maybe uh, tonight we're all getting lucky. <laughs> Let's be honest, if you're watching this show, your luck just run out. <laughs> I don't know why seven's supposed to be lucky. Maybe because there's seven days in a week, there's uh, seven musical notes, there's uh, seven colors of the rainbow, seven wonders of the ancient world, seven deadly sins, uh, seven seas, seven dwarfs, uh, and I have seven pet ferrets. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. Do you have a picture of me with my ferrets? Do we? There, there you are. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Yeah, no, that's me with my ferret. I know you can only see six ferrets there because I keep the seventh one in my pants. <laughs> Don't move, little fella. <laughs> okay, now move. Okay, now move. George Carlin famously said there were seven words you can't say on TV. I loved George Carlin. He was fantastic. But he didn't... Well, yeah, all right. <laughs> George would have told you to shut up as well. He wasn't talking about CBS. There was a lot more than seven words you can't say in CBS. I can't even say ass munch. <laughs> I can't? I can say ass munch. <laughs> it's an ass munch Christmas. <laughs> hey, you want to say ass munch? Ass munch. Yeah, there you go. I'm very excited. We can say ass munch. Can we keep saying it? At what point can we not say ass munch? Right about now? <laughs> so we can't say ass munch anymore. No, that's it. No more ass munching for us. <laughs> it's. It's. <laughs> Uh, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. You know, there's a cocktail called the 7-7, seven, seven, which was never lucky for me. Unless your idea of luck is waking up in a Tijuana jail. <laughs> Call me Ramon. They say... They say that if you break a mirror, you get seven years bad luck, which is ridiculous. I broke a mirror once, and all I got was seven stitches on my pee-pee. <laughs> well... You know, because it was one... Of, it was one of those full-length mirrors, and I was doing, you know, that naked, you know... <laughs> You know, the tuck and dance, the, the put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> so I was doing that, let's just say something broke free and the glass was shattered. <laughs> I had fun at the hospital, though. Call me Dr. McSteamy. <laughs> and Ramon. <laughs> now, the number, the number seven uh, messes with dogs. They say a year in human life is uh, seven years in a dog's life. So if your dog's ten years old, he's like 70 years old. They're like, where are my testicles? <laughs> I was trying to do an old guy voice and a Scooby-Doo voice at the same time. I don't really know what happened. Where are my testicles? If a dog broke a mirror, that raises an interesting question. Does the dog get seven years bad luck or 49 years bad luck? And where did the dog learn to do that tuck and dance thing? Huh? That's a talented dog. Root the roots in the basket. <laughs> now, obviously, tonight's show is brought to you by the number seven. <laughs> Well, between that and the puppets, this show is getting more like Sesame Street every night. <laughs> Not really, though, because Sesame Street and this show are different. One has a grouch who's smelly from being in trash all day, and the other one's Sesame Street. <laughs> See what I did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we call in the comedy world an ass munch, what I did there. there. Ass munch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? You're, they're really going to know it? Well, I asked you if I could say it beforehand so I could pretend I could not say it. And then when I say it, you say I can't say it? You know, let's go back to... Uh -huh. Yeah, and then let's do the show, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're my ass munch, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I'm giving so much thought to this, the number seven thing. I don't put any faith in that numerology crap, especially not uh, during an odd-numbered month, like, no. <laughs> People told me that I'd believe, if I, I'd believe in numerology if I went to a numerologist, but I'm not going, because whenever I go to someone who has the title ologist in their name, I end up bending over. <laughs> And then there's, you know, and there's bad stuff too happens. And <laughs> my brain cells tell me numerology is garbage, but for some reason I get drawn into it though. If I hear seven is, uh, is lucky and 13 is unlucky, my OCD takes over, it affects my actions. And some people think, I have good reason to think that 13 is unlucky. And, and I think when I say some people, I of course mean Roman Polanski. <laughs> These people are very judgmental, don't you think? Very, I'm just, I'm just, it's just a joke. I'm just like messing around. Root, root. Root the roach in the rascal. 
Rest me. Rest me. Rest me. Root the Russian in the rascal. Root the Russian in the rascal. Hey, uh, you know, it's probably time, you know, we should do the, you know, the thing. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me ask you about your day first. That's more uh, uh, late night talk show. Did you have a good day? I had a great, yeah, it was great. Okay, good. Do you want to do the commercial yeah, thing? Yeah, sure. All right, all right. More with Maestro Ferguson and his hobo orchestra after this. No, no, wait, wait, no, no. I didn't like that one. <laughs> all right. Yeah, do another one. Um, oh, okay. Hang on to your glittery ball, folks. <laughs> Is that it? That's hang on. No, no, there's more. There's more. All right, okay. Tonight's show is brought to you by Ass Munch. <laughs> the breakfast cereal that means what it says. Start your day the right way with Ass, Ass Munch. Munch. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. where we are solving crimes using bone power, right? You got it, partner. I'm getting sick of this. We are going to have to take these guys downtown. Dun, dun, dun. We have to do our own incidental music as well. So that when we're driving around, we'll be going... Oh, I'll do the explosion. No, no, let me, let me do it. I'll do the, the running away from the explosion first, and then you do the... In fact, okay, I'll come around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, good. All right, you ready? All right, you ready? I'll do, do the run away. And you run. Right, I'll run away from the explosion, and you do the explosion, right? No! CSI, whatever the hell you are now. <laughs> I think that was pretty good, wasn't it? That was awesome. Yeah, that, that, there, there's your entertainment right now. Who needs a band? Us. <laughs> All right, do the uh, thing, will you? It's time for tweets. Tweets on the streets. <laughs> Tweet time. <laughs> Twitter. This is from uh, Laurie in uh, Arbavale in uh, West Virginia. He says, Dear Craig and Jeffrey Peterson. Says that? Sure. See? Dear Craig, I have several family reunions coming up this summer. Any ideas on how to make them more entertaining? Wait a minute. How can you have several family reunions? You, you can have one family reunion. You can't have several. You have a reunion. Oh, and then the same family has another reunion? That's just like a family then, isn't it? <laughs> or maybe you have different families, like Victor Hugo that wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Did you know that? Ooh. Yeah, he had more than one family. <laughs> a, re <laughs> a regular family and a family made entirely of hunchbacks. Man, you learn all kinds of on this show. <laughs> Can you say that again, please, using the correct term we're allowed to say? Man, you learn all kind of ass much on the show. Thank you. <laughs> this is from uh, Craig... Uh, no, this is... No, it's to Craig. Uh, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is from me? What do I want? Oh, get some groceries. You got it. This is from Sylvester in Franklin, Oregon. You know, if I, if I had a python, I'd call him Sylvester. 
If you had a python. Yeah, if I had a python snake, a python snake, I'd right. call him Sylvester. You called Sylvester. Yeah. <laughs> and and he and he'd help us solve crimes. Tonight, Sylvester's in trouble. <laughs> Word on the street says. <laughs> Word on the street says the GP's a rat. I'm not gonna talk. I tell you, I don't know anything. Yeah? Well, does this refresh your memory? Ferks, Ferks, you gotta tell the man. I didn't do it. All right, needs a bit of work, but I think we're doing okay. Anyway, this is from Sylvester in Franklin, Oregon. It says, hi, Craig and Jeff. Oh, look, I really does say it this time. Hey. They can't read it, you jerk. Well, trust me, that's what it says. It also says, I think Jeff's really handsome. Ooh. <laughs> it says, Jeff's, ooh, Jeff's really handsome. I'm looking right at you. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. My brother thinks it's fun to hack into my email and send random emails to people. I've changed my password, but he keeps doing it. How do I make him stop? Throw out your computer. Let go of your computer, man. Stop having a computer. Maybe go back to the old ways. <laughs> Communicate by owl, like they do. Like they do in Harry Potter, you try hacking into an owl, it'll pick your -la -la. fingers off. <laughs> right, Jeff? That's right. Yeah, that's right. You try and interfere with an owl. <laughs> yeah. So people say, hey, how are owls better than email? That's how. Yeah, you owl picker. <laughs> Uh, we're out of time, so I'll just do a couple more, all right? Uh, Andrea in Denver, Colorado. Have you ever been in Denver, Colorado? Oh, hell really? yeah, I got a place there. Got a little place there. Come down some time. Go swimming in it. No, 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 all right. Whatever. All right, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, if you two could change one thing about each other, what would you change? Jeff, what would you change about me? Your batteries. <laughs> you change my batteries every night, big guy. Yo, oh, man. That email really did say you were handsome. <laughs> the hell's wrong with your hands? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> is a writer slash actor. He's, uh, he's uh, written a new book. It's called Writing Movies for Fun and Profit. It's in stores now. Please welcome the very cool Tom Lennon, everybody. Tom Lennon. Craig. Hi. Jeff and the gang, as they call the Jeff show. and the gang? Come on. You no, know, come love on. You. Happy almost Bastille Day. It's Bastille Day soon, isn't we, it? We, 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 we. Everybody's got uh, Bastille Day fever. I think you'll find it's Bastille Day fever. A uh, fever. Oui, oui. This book looks very interesting because, uh, particularly this this copy of the book, because this is a mock-up of your book. Yeah, the book's this not actually is ready. just some piece of junk. They just see. Look at that. Uh, this what? is just junk. This, what this is, this is a, a conflict of interest by Adam Mitzner. Oh. Um. And now, A Conflict of Interest by Adam Mintzner. Yeah. To my daughters, Rebecca and Emily. Hey, 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 hey. Don't make um, fun of Adam's book. I wrote it. a real book that's in a, that comes in a, a, a package, that, a cover that looks just like that. Oh, and so we mocked yeah. this up to sell your book. Exactly. Whereas I, nobody's got a chance to read your book yet in case it's not that good. They, 
by the way, I don't believe I ever said it was good. Oh, okay. No, that's yeah. fair. In fact, well, I believe... There's Van on the front of your book, Yeah, too. that's me and my writing partner. Yeah, and okay. piles of money. Here, in fact, the quote on it says, these, are the, these guys are the reason Night at the Museum won so many Oscars. <laughs> Which, by last count, is zero. Zero, yeah. yeah. But you did write it. You and Ben wrote Night in the Museum. And you wrote Night in the Museum 2, Revenge we, of Curly's Gold. Revenge and you wrote of Curly's a, Gold. <laughs> and the one that you and Jeff are doing next year. Night in the Museum 3, Jaws. Key West, Escape from Key West. <laughs> Escape from Key West. <laughs> um, no, we've written... Michael Caine's in it. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 He's already shooting. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. already started. He's we have already to catch started. up with he's... the jokes. <laughs> Uh, no, we've written, uh, Ben and I, most people know us from Reno 911, or I'm the sort of that creepy guy in the background of most movies. Um, You're kind of the creepy friend in a lot of movies, I aren't am. you? You're kind of the creepy, well, you are quite creepy. I'm also kind of your creepy friend. <laughs> mm. Is this a movie? Kind of. Am I Zach Efron? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You do crunches, and I'll do this. I think she likes you. <laughs> That's kind of, no. Oh, but this is actually kind of a great buddy movie of like a teenage guys, but they're both obviously way too old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like doing crunches and skateboarding. And you see that in LA all the time. You yeah. see guys out with like, you know, 50 year old men out with skateboards yeah. and, you know, I'm that'll, one of those guys. That'll be us. We'll reboot. <laughs> We're like, we get into like extreme like pogo clubs. <laughs> You know the pogo stick? This is what I'm thinking. Are you on the pogo stick? Is that what you're saying to me? You've started pogoing? Are this people is... doing that? Is that the new Pilates? No, but in our, in our movie... <laughs> that could catch on. It would, actually. I can see you it You do one on. interview where you're like, oh, you know, thanks. I'm feeling really great. I yep. look really good. I'm doing two hours on the pogo every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's really a core energy, oh, a lot of core you energy. You get one Kardashian oh, on yeah. a pogo stick. Well, not the big giant one, because then everybody would be like, oh, well, no. Which Kardashian do you mean is the big giant one, Craig? I don't know. What one's the big giant one? Uh, to the board. Uh, Kim, right? No, no. Kim's not the big giant one. Kim's the uh, famous Kim's one? the one, the famous one. Right. Because it's Kim and the gang. Right. Right. You know, you know. I figured out which Kardashian I look the most like. Why are you saying Kardashian? How do you say it? It's Kardashian. You're like one of those news readers that says Nicaragua, like that. Right. You're saying Kardashian. Kardashian. No, no, I see. You're saying it to appear the smarter than you are. From the Carpathian Mountain. No, no, no. The Kardashian. Yeah, it's Kardashian. I'm sorry if I've done anything to embarrass the Kardashian family. No, they've done everything to embarrass the Kardashian family. I'm All right, Jeff, you're drummed out of our improv group. I thought something was going to happen. <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, yeah, too late. Okay, no, that's too little. Good. Actually, good. this Mitchner book's not bad. I got to tell you. Well, the book, but here, the screenwriting book. This is a. This is, is it about how it's to write a, a real book. We've written nine films. Yeah. Some are like Night at the Museum. Right. Some are Herbie Fully Loaded. You wrote that? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Wow. You're being I'm sarcastic. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I didn't. In, fa I, I didn't in do fairness, Herbie Fully Loaded, one of the top ten Herbie movies. Yeah. You know? Hey, hey, here's an interesting right? thing. Gotta about be it. right, just by process of elimination. Well, I think there's only about eight of them. But there's only eight. Did, and you it's know Herbie, top ten. Herbie, this is what I always mm. thought would be good in a Herbie movie. No, yeah. I didn't see your one yet. I'm gonna see it very soon. But mm -hmm. the uh, the Herbie movies, you know that uh, Ferdinand de Porsche and Hitler came up with the idea of the Volkswagen. Of the Volkswagen, the People's Wagon. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. So the bug was basically a design by Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. Make the car a Nazi! Nazi mobile. People would go oh, crazy! Mr. Voice of Mel Gibson. Yeah, that's right. He's like, who are you? Oh. Come on then, Lindsay, get over here. You could Lindsay. do it. Australian Nazi car. Yeah. For some reason. That, yeah. Well, you're doing a pirate face, though. <laughs> What does he look like? He looks Mel like, Gibson? Very much like that, right. Well, a little bit. Do we have a photograph of Mel Gibson anywhere? No, probably not. What about, uh... No. Something like this. No, that's one of them cats that, you right. know, they put oh, the on the poster. Cat. Yeah. You know the poster that says, hang on in there, baby? Hang in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is a book. Oh, if yeah, you wanna, yeah, the book, yeah. The uh, premise is, if you want to, uh make it writing movies you don't need really any education nope. training nope, or experience mm -hmm. or to be particularly bright <laughs> just read the book 
and it's got all the stuff you need in it. And you can you know you people will buy this and read it and follow what it says and it make really millions does, of dollars, and then yes, you can sue them. So I shall. Yeah. <laughs> I, there actually are, I believe, six or seven free movie ideas in the book that you were allowed, once you bought it, to just go out and pitch, and if you sell them, you know, bon chance and best of luck. Bon yeah. chance? Oh, you heard me. I got Bastille Do de Feather. Yeah. It's almost like you're a Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> So let's, uh, because this cover is on Adam Mitzner's book, if I go right. pitch Adam Mitzner's book... As a movie. As a movie, and I, that means right. I don't have to pay Adam Mitzner? Is Mitzner's? it about me and Zac Efron and pogo sticks? No, you probably have to pay him. You got, uh, you got sexy girls on Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's an exciting cover. Yeah, it is. That's the problem. Oh, Has your wife way, seen this cover? Have you noticed... Did your wife seen this cover? That's, yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, can I point something out? You notice on the cover of the book, fun and is crossed out. The actual, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The title of the book is Writing Movies for Profit. <laughs> I don't think there's any implication that it's going to be fun. You're not going to have a great time. What, writing a movie? No. It's, it's the not. best time you can have. It's, it's how you while away those lonely hours in Starbucks. You've written several. You've written a couple of movies. I've how many movies have you written? Uh, two. Three. No, no, two. no. Three. Three, I think. Three. Three, yeah. It took three. you a long time to three, think Three, three, yeah. yeah. Well, well uh, one of them I don't care for, and the other two were a long time ago. Don't care for? Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> if, if we're going to start if we're gonna start judging people because they write movies that we don't care for, I don't want to live in that world. <laughs> okay? That's not what I signed up for. Because I have written some turds. <laughs> You mean I'm being too hard on myself? Yes! Like I'm some sort of if you're Nicaraguan right. Kardashian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, maybe, a, yeah. that's a great, those are two words that are almost all vowels. Nicaraguan Kardashian. Yeah. Um, We're done, Tom. I love it. It's great seeing you. It's lovely to see you. Awkward uh, pause or mouth organ? Um, you know, the last time, can I, here's the thing. The last time I, I accepted the mouth organ. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I stepped right into that as I often do. Uh, but here's the thing: these are these are toy harmonicas. These are not top quality. I wish I wish you had said, Here, "Here's a harmonica." By the way, it's not going to be the best harmonica you've ever played in your whole life. Well, why I would I want to talk with, like I was in the mafia uh, or something? <laughs> hey, what you gonna do? Hey, it's a coming to go. Here's a mouth organ that ain't that good. My friend Vinny gave it to me. You should be all right. <laughs> I, I I'm will, sorry, Italian-Americans. I'm sorry. And Kardashian-Americans. I guess. Uh, I will accept it. Do you want to do a thematic awkward pause, or how do you want to do it? No, yeah, do a thematic. We could do a well, finger theme awkward pause. We could do... Yeah. Uh, we could... <laughs> Oh, no, it is, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's Mel My Finger, Awkward Pause. Okay. Uh, we could do Awkward Pause with sexual undertones. So, two. Oh, that, you want, that one. You yeah. don't even want to know what they're at the other okay, one? Okay, three. What's the uh, other one? The, you are an ultimate fighter and you are about to kill me, Awkward Pause. I'll take that one. <laughs> no, uh, I'll take a combination of. I'll do all three at different times. Smell my finger? Yeah. It's never been done before. <laughs> you've, you've never had this average of a character actor sitting all right, next to you. <laughs> Smell my finger. Sexual undertones. Right. You're an uh, you're, uh, ultimate fighter and you're going to kill. Right. Right. W well, I do. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I thought we both act out all... Th we do both do them all. Okay. Right at each other, right? Fine. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Jeff, what are you reading? Uh, this, this book. Oh, yeah? Reading a book, Jeff? What does it say in the book, Jeff? Uh, if you could hold it up a little higher, I might be able to tell you. It's a book written by Academy Award-winning actress who stars in Ryan and Tatum, the O'Neills, which airs Sunday on Own, which is Own, you know, Oprah's thing, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Please welcome Tatum O'Neill, everybody. Uh, how are you? 
good. Yeah, you're all right. You yeah, look nice. Thank you. you. Look very nice. I like you wearing. Are you wearing shorts? I am. That's so you just threw out the. Is that what you're going to just ad lib with me? We're just going to make yeah, it Yeah, yeah. What's we're gonna... going on with the horse? Like, what is, like, the guy with his head and... What, the horse backstage? Yeah, yeah. What no, is... what you mean is what's what's going on with the real horse is backstage? That a... Is that a real horse? It's a real horse backstage, in fact. <laughs> oh, I think that's him at the door! It does. Do you enjoy do you enjoy riding horses around? I uh, yes, I do. I used to be a, a bit of a rider. I did a movie in England called International Velvet oh, when yes, I was fourteen. Yeah, yeah. And, That's right, when you were yeah. a kid and And uh, yeah, and it would went pretty well and I learned and I don't ride anymore. But you ride motorcycles now? I ride three wheel motorcycles, but you, you I heard ride very well motorcycles. Or do you? Uh, or do you fly now? <laughs> or I, do you drum? I'm I'm trying to get <laughs> Get inside my head? Yeah. <laughs> Do do? Don't try, baby. Wow. Do you know we've met? Yeah, yeah, we met. We met? Yeah, I know where we met. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but nothing uh, like is that. Is it in here? It was, uh, let me just check. Where it was not in uh, here. Yeah, all right. It was very, very, it was, we were, lots of people were there. Oh, yeah, I remember at that place. That we place, there. the secret society is what I like oh, to call Oh, yeah, it. when we were all wearing cloaks and going, oh. Yeah, like the Masons. Oh. This is nice. Exactly. Love, lovely book. Did Thank it, you. Did I you wrote this it? book. I wrote it. Oh, you you wrote it. I wrote it. And it, it, it's a girly book, but it's good. It's it's a, it's it's a different story than the story that I tell in my show, if you will. It's it's sort of about taking control of yourself and and being the best woman you can be and not being a victim. I think that I spent a long time sort of in the victim role, and this is about how do you get how do you shed that skin and become the best you possible, and mm, 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 also mm, the drug. Mm stuff getting over all of that because yeah, I don't know if you know that I have had a very public drugs drug issue no I, Sadly. I, I didn't learn about it <laughs> Sadly. No, that's all or right. Or even, like, not sadly. You know, maybe it's a big blessing I've had it. Well, you're not on drugs now, are you? No, not at all. Well, there you are, then. You can I'm... dance with a horse with the best of them. Absolutely. Are you... you don't need drugs to talk to a cheeky robot are skeleton, you... do you? Are you on drugs? Am I on drugs? Yeah. No, not really. That's no, all... we're all done with that. I always say... Oh, I always say I lost... Yeah, yeah, right there. All right, sorry, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I always no, say, I don't. I haven't done any for years. I've, I mean, when I bought them, they were still using, you know, uh, the the dealer would arrive in a bicycle with one big wheel and one little wheel. I was like, <laughs> that's how long ago I took drugs. They're like, hey, do you want drugs there? You'll... And I'd be like, you betcha, mister. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Scotland where I'm the only kid that talks like this. Uh, that's very funny. Oh, thanks. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand the big wheel, little wheel thing. Like, what is that? Well, in, in olden times, basically. In the olden times? Yeah, yeah. Oh, back when you were young. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What? Well, you seem young to me. Thanks. <laughs> I am quite young. I think I'd seem younger, though, if I dyed my hair. What do you think? Mm, I think not. Really? I think, yeah, I think it's sophisticated. And really? I, yeah, I think it looks good. No, what, blonde, maybe? That's what I was thinking. Blonde, maybe frosty tips. Frosty tips? Yeah! I don't think so. I'm going to say no on that. Really? What yeah. if I uh, dyed other hair on other parts of my body? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe a ginge going on down. A ginge here. minge? Not a chance. <laughs> Can I <Ging> say that? <laughs> no, okay. What about... Ch check with your little friend. That, uh, yeah. No. Can't what say that. What about black hair? What, what? about just really black hair. No, I hate that when, when guys do that, because they, what they have to do is they either have to dye their eyebrows or not dye their eyebrows, and yeah. if they dye their eyebrows they look like a child's drawing, and if, they, and, if they, and if they don't dye their eyebrows, they just look really surprised. Yeah. 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 What about when the beard comes in, too? What do you do about that? Like, then you have to kind of dye the... If you want to, like... Yeah, yeah touch then, a gray for men. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Then it ends up looking... It's a whole lot of mess now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks bad. It looks like. bad. No, I don't know. So, what you, do you look nice, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, you look very nice. Oh, is that, thanks. Is that a blazer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. It's nice. Thanks. I and like a blazer. you've got the, the jangly... Um... I've got all my bracelets on. I never take them off. Oh, really? Have you yeah. collected them over a period of time? Do they have uh, I, uh This one is from my book editor, the screen one. 
one. Right. And I sort of just, uh, eat, with each paycheck, get one more oh. gold. It's going to be, my arm is going to start hanging like this soon. I'm not going to be able to put another one Jeff, on. that's what happened to him. His arm hangs pretty, uh... Oh, yeah. Jeff, hi. You, he's the one who talked about my book. And hey. He's a, hey. He's a tweeter and a Jeff, emailer. Jeff tweets. Do you do it on the tweeting? I do. I, I tweeted you and you didn't tweet me back. I, I must have missed it. I Sometimes I don't check my stream. Well, check it. Because... <laughs> Are those your kids? Hmm? Are those your kids? That's uh, pictures of my kids, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I keep them there to remind me why I do this. Achtung! Every night. What is this? <laughs> they look little and cute. They are little and cute. You've got kids, haven't you? I do, but mine are big and cute. Well, that's all right. It's okay. I look up at them. Really? Are they freakishly tall? <laughs> My oldest is 6'4". Uh, is that freaky? Wow, that, that's pretty tall. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a tall one. Does he uh, does he uh, wear stack heel boots as well or anything uh, like that? No, just sneakers. He lives in Brooklyn. He has that whole Brooklyn look. Oh, know? yeah. See that? Skinny jean, yeah. you know, the t-shirt, yeah, like a that. flat sneaker or something very, like... That's a very, uh, very like Brooklyn-y kind of. Yeah, Brooklyn's very hip right hip, now. Hip, 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 yeah, I would yeah. say. Yeah. I'm more hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. Hey, Is so, um, uh, we're, we're kind of, we're out of time already, so very quickly tell me the, have you met Oprah? Yeah. Oh, what does she smell like? She smells, she smells really good. I think she probably smell good. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I think if I met Oprah, I'd just want to hug her. Oh, oh, you love Oprah. That's right. I've heard that about you. Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, me too. I feel very lucky to be on her network. Yeah. And then I got an email from her and everything. To email? She uses email? I thought she would use Owl. <laughs> No, what no, if someone it's... hacked her email and said they were Oprah and wasn't Oprah and then said mean things? People would be confused. <laughs> I'm doing a new voice all of a sudden. I, I don't, don't even know, know what this is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't, I'm listening to I'm... you. But uh, sh I don't know. Sh this was from her and to me, and I was extremely uh, grateful to yeah, get it, you know. And she's kind of amazing, and I sort of look up to her and think that she's a real role model, at least for me. And yeah. I'm glad to be on her network and hope that it does sort of empower women, empower people, and I've hopefully never get the conversation. Nice about, about Oprah and. <laughs> Get the conversation going between either parents or children or whatever that sort of block is with your family. Try to get it going. You know what the thing to do is have as many family reunions as you can. There you go. Maybe That's a, the key. And maybe we could do it here on the show. No, no, no. No, I, not no, on the no, Craig Ferguson no, show? No, no because uh, the, that requires sincerity and, and stuff. Huh? Yeah. Ooh la la. That. Ooh la la. That. But yeah, I'm pretty happy to be on our network. And, and it's exciting. And the book is exciting. And it's exciting to be out here, be sober, and, and have yeah, oh, yeah. My life is looking good. Good for you. Yeah. Really, honestly. Thank well done. You. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Um, very quickly, we got to get okay. out of here. Do you fancy a mouth organ, an awkward pause? Sure, uh, sure, sure. Yeah? Sure, what do I do? Take it out? Are you sure? Is it clean? Of course it's clean. It's new. Yeah, it's okay. brand new. Look Never been this. touched. It's like a taking out a condom. Not that I... <laughs> not that I've done that... <laughs> not that I've done that in a, in a while. I can't say I've ever done that. As three children. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Wait. Get away! <laughs> if you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? You know what we gotta get, GP? What's that, partner? We gotta get out of here. Let's go, buddy! <laughs>